Hey guys, Michael Gilbert, Road Test Editor here, and today we just wrapped up riding the 2020 Yamaha YZF R1 and R1M here at Circuito de Jerez. Yamaha didn't necessarily redesign this from the ground up, rather than improve the motorcycle upon an already potent platform. For both models, they had four goals. Maintain the same engine character and performance, improving efficiency to meet Euro 5 mission standards. For each bike, it uses the same cross-plane inline four power plant that we've grown to love since 2009, except for it gets tweaks to the cylinder head, valve train, and a couple little things just to meet those regulations that we talked about. The chassis, same aluminum Delta Box chassis, except for with the R1 standard model, it gets updates to the shim stacks within the fork and shock, and Yamaha did this essentially just to improve feel and consistency. And on the racetrack, I have to say, I'm, I was really impressed. I think when you get down to the apex and all the corners where you're really asking a lot of the front fork and the rear shock, there was a feedback at the, at the contact patch of the tire. You knew exactly what was going on and I felt really comfortable running it in and, and just pushing my riding a little bit further. And I think for any of you wanting a motorcycle that's fun and confidence inspiring, this new 2020 Yamaha R1 does it well. For the R1M, it also received suspension upgrades. At the front, it has an Olin's NPX front fork. This is the world's first semi-active gas-charged fork on a production motorcycle. Same thing, Yamaha did this to improve consistency, bump absorption, and just feel at the contact patch of the tire. I have to say, I'm, I was never impressed with semi-active suspension and I'd kind of lean to turn it into manual mode or lean back into a conventional fork. I think this might be changing my mind. There's a lot of feel at the contact patch and I just, I had confidence to run it in harder and trust that the motorcycle wasn't going to be significantly changing the settings in the middle of the corner when I'm expecting it to do one thing and then it does another. I'm impressed. The rear shock, same thing. There's a lot of stability when you're opening the throttle and trying to accelerate out of the corner. Yamaha also went to work on adjusting the electronic rider aids package. Biggest point is they included an engine brake management, EBM, which essentially allows you to tailor the off-throttle response to your liking. There's three modes, EB1 being the same setting as the outgoing 2019 model, EB2 and 3 are slightly less engine braking, so less deceleration as you roll off the throttle. Personally, I prefer the EB Level 2 setting. EB Level 2, in my opinion, was the best of both worlds. It gave me the confidence and RPM that I needed. Feel confident at the front tire's contact patch under hard braking off the back straightaway from fifth to second and have load properly on the front tire. Now, when we got to the faster corners, EB Level 2, it found a happy medium between allowing load on the front tire but not using so much RPM to kill my momentum trying to get in and through the corner. Yamaha has also given the rest of the electronics package a lot of refinement. The traction control, slide control, and lift control, it's all just very precise. I have to say, I think that Yamaha's on-throttle response was very aggressive on the outgoing model, and that's tailored down a lot on this to where it still comes on very strong and the character is still there, but it's very smooth. It allows you to get out of the corner aggressively and drive rather than feeling twitchy at the throttle. The slide control is probably the most imp impressive aspect of the motorcycle. On the throttle, it kicks the rear end out to a select angle and then stays there. It really makes you feel like you're a MotoGP superstar. On the throttle, driving with a nice slide, and it's not foolproof, but it definitely improves your ability to accelerate off the corner. Both models will be hitting stateside in October of 2019. R1M 26099, the R1 just about $17,000. If you like this video, be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.